when I see a movie, there are basically three categories that I kind of rank it in to kind of know if it's a good movie or not. Kind of the three things that people usually ask me about. Uh, those are content, quality, and message. All pretty important to me. Very rarely does a movie I watch strike out so completely in all three as Paul did this weekend. I went and saw the movie Paul. Let's just go down the list. Content, it's a foul movie. And it just seems almost vulgar for vulgarity's sake. The language in it, the things in it, it just seemed like they're, they're just to offend. Like that's their purpose. So that strikes out. Uh, down to uh, quality. It's not even really a good movie. It's not even really a mediocre movie. It's a poorly done movie, which is really kind of a surprise because I've liked Simon Pegg and Nick Frost movies in the past. Uh, Shaun of the Dead, uh, Hot Fuzz, I both thought, say what you will about everything else about those movies, but that they were high quality movies. Very funny, very well done, very smart movies. Uh, so it's really kind of a surprise to see them strike out with this. It's kind of their attempt to take on the sci-fi alien genre like they took on the zombie genre with Shaun of the Dead and like they took on the action genre in Hot Fuzz, so I just figured this would complete the trilogy and be like the first two. I think that maybe the missing part, the missing piece, in fact I'm pretty sure of it, is Edgar Wright. Uh, he did not direct this movie, he did direct the first two, uh, and I think maybe I'm realizing in watching this movie how crucial a piece he as director is to really making these guys live in this world that they've created. Because without him, uh, this movie just feels poorly written, poorly done, poorly executed. Uh, it feels sporadic. You feel like you can't really get a, a foothold of where you are in the film. Uh, the characters don't seem real. They all seem very much a caricature and not real characters. I, I will give just, just a little bit of credit to Simon Pegg. He does manage to pull off his, his character with some reality, uh, playing kind of the sci-fi nerd. He does give a little bit of emotion to it, but not enough to, to save any of the quality of this movie. If I had to find something good to say, it would be Jason Bateman. Uh, Jason Bateman never ceases to impress me. Even in a trashy movie like this, in every sense of the world, uh, word, he comes through as a, a decent presence and is funny. The funny moments in this movie are Jason Bateman. Let's talk about message. And this is the part that surprised me the most. The message of this movie is blatantly, purposefully, directly anti-God. It is a movie about, at its core, God does not exist. It is pro-atheist. It is not just anti-God, anti-Christian. There is a very anti-Christian message in this movie, and I, that doesn't shock me. I know that, that people see Christians sometimes as simpletons and as not understanding the way the real world works, but to just blatantly so caricaturize it as uh, just a stupid thing to even believe is really, at its essence, not just kind of a, a bad thing to do, but really a stupid thing to do. Uh, you just there's no reason to make that be the point of this film. There are other messages you could have brought forth in the story of this alien and these people, but um, for whatever reason, pro-atheism, anti-Christian, decided to be the foundation of the message of this film. So as you can see, right down the line, uh, Paul this week is, it's just, it's just a bad movie.